Okay, folks, here we are at the Video Game, National Video Game Museum in Frisco, Texas. Here we are. So much history. So much history here. I like how they painted everything gold. All right, got my wristband and my tokens. I'm ready to roll. OG Pong machine. Puppy Pong. <laughs> there are some classics here. Look at all this beauty and this giant Super NES controller that works. Go pick anything you want. <laughs> Tells you everything about the consoles and when they released. The Neo Geo. I remember 400 bucks when it came out. It's crazy. Turbo Graphics 16. Uh, I have one of those. Lynx. Oh man, all the memories. They're flooding back to me. That's the Panasonic 300. There's a Philips. Where's the Philips 3DO? Because my cousin had a Philips 3DO, oh, the Atari Jaguar. And they had the 64 edition. Virtual Boy. Still got one of those. Sega Saturn. That was my shit. A lot of history, a lot of history. Is that Major Nelson's signature? That is Major Nelson's signature, nice. Very cool, so dope. Those graphics though, this PS2? I don't think this works. No, it works. All this stuff works too, it's cool. Rampage, nice. It's a classic, now you guys are good. <laughs> oh shit. A Castlevania setup though. That is crazy. Oh shit. Somebody's bedroom back in the gap. This bedroom's legit. Tell me how legit this bedroom is. Is that a cassette deck over here? I remember seeing this very same one. Yeah. Several times back in the day. Oh man, this is too awesome. Ah, mad, oh, or vintage Mad TVs. 1987. <laughs> Another student for Reagan Bush. Ah, oh, man. Oh, I get it. Different time periods. This was like 70s, early 80s over here and that's more 80s 90s over here so cool and you can still play it all <laughs> that's funny that works Sega Saturn set up OG triple OG right here GameCube. Now here is something a lot of people don't know about. Pioneer's laser active system. Never got to play it back in the day, but it was a big bohemian. And still play Sega Genesis cartridges, it's crazy. That's nuts. Oh, and then the Atari Jaguar with the 64-bit add-on. Don't 
Arcade, yo. Sunset Riders. That was my shit. Punch out, the OG punch out with the two screen setup. A lot of people don't know about the two screen setup. Mortal Kombat 2. So this is what the tokens was for. Oh man, not Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Oh, this was my shit. I remember when they released it on Super Nintendo, I played the fuck out of it. It's classic. A little Galaga action, some Neo Geo. OG Star Wars game. That's got to be late 70s right there. Centipede, Defender, Miss Pac-Man. Oh yeah, Battle Zone. You had to get off in it like you were operating a tank. Man, they got a new version of that out, by the way, on VR. It's pretty dope. Asteroids, Qbert, Frogger. With the tire inlaid, that's a, that, this is all OG shit. A lot of the replicas didn't have some of the stuff this OG stuff had. So dope. So dope. That Atari home computer, though. Throwback right there, people. Look at this guy. He's all swagged up and nothing but video game stuff. EGM jacket with a PlayStation jacket legit so legit so much cool stuff well this was a good birthday treat right here I'm glad I saved it for my birthday <laughs> so Sega CD had it had it yo it was the shit they had that in the 32x oh shit I forgot about thrill kill I forgot that game even existed black PlayStation 1 huh interesting Probably some Japanese spec action. So cool. So, so cool, man. N64. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, too. I had the expansion pack, but I never had the double decker. <laughs> oh, man. Old school video game boxes. Stands. The getaway. That wasn't. Oh, no, 2003. No shit. That was a while back. Oh, the Mark of Crow. I forgot about that game. I used to play the shit out of it. It was actually kind of bloody, if I remember correctly. Uh, it was a good... I forgot that existed. These are all pop-up stands and boxes from the old days. Oh, yeah, the freaking Turbo Express. Man, this place is too freaking cool. Pikachu Nintendo 64, if you had one of them to this day, it'd be worth a lot of money. Some crazy pinstripe GameCube. Coca-Cola Game Gear? Bro, that's Japanese as fuck. <laughs> uh, I remember when they released all the different colors. Couldn't get them over here though. European, yeah. The automobile collection. They were so pretty. <sighs> Hello Kitty Dreamcast? Now that one I wasn't familiar with. No, screw you. Amiga 32-bit. What? A Dreamcast Walkman? Or a Dreamcast CD player? I didn't know that existed. Virtual Boy still got one in my mom's house. And I think I still got the OG box. Panasonic Q. I remember that big beast too. Oh, man. Yeah, that was a, basically a GameCube that could play DVDs. So it was a big deal. <laughs> Laser active 3D goggles. All the old wannabe VR stuff. It's crazy. Nep Ooh, the Sega 32X prototype. Sega Saturn prototype. Hitachi. 
Oh, so much Pokemon. My buddy Eric will be in love with all that. Oh, is that the golden gun? That is. Look at that. That is. Oh, man, just so much. I'm going to have to condense a lot of this footage because I got so much. I'm going to keep it for old times' sake. That gold punch out cartridge. Japanese only. Laser scope, yo. Oh, so many memories. So many fucking memories. A lot of swag from different events and so forth. It's kind of cool. State of emergency. That was my shit back in the day. Look at these patches. Activision ski team, really? Crazy. Got some doom going here. Oh, freaking Mario Paint. Freaking Mario! The history of online gaming. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember that. X Band for Genesis. You could play so many games a month. My cousin had it. It was cool. It was like, yeah, you could just go in their little store and play whatever the fuck you wanted. That was awesome. Dreamcast Broadband Adapter. Xbox Live Starter Kit. Sega Saturn Netlink. Now, that I never touched. Didn't know that was a thing. Oh, that's so cool. Some badass shirts. I want some of these shirts. Splatterhouse shirt. I remember before I got a TurboGrafx-16, I went to Blockbuster and rented a TurboGrafx-16 and Splatterhouse just to play it because they didn't have it on any other systems. Mario Shasta? <laughs> a lot of history here, man. A lot of freaking history. Such a cool place. For no reason at all, a little random Contra action. Pitfall. The dev station for the Sega CD. That's awesome. That's too freaking cool. Some more prototype action down here. This is pretty fucking awesome. Here we have more development kits. Bill Gates signed this Xbox. Xbox, original Xbox development kit. Dreamcast development kit, PlayStation 2 development kit, all the good stuff, man. All the stuff they they use to tweak these beasts. A lot of controllers. Ah, oh, I forgot about the programmable ones back in the day with the turbo and all that. Oh, original Xbox controller. Sega Saturn. That was the first thing that had an analog stick. There's a game called Knights where you could fly your guy around all crazy man memories are they playing house of the dead looks like house of the dead yep oh the typing of the dead yeah that's right i forgot this was a thing you had to type to kill people instead of using the gun they wanted to teach kids how to type they figured that'd be the best way by getting you to murder zombies i forgot about this dreamcast keyboard is that the wu-tang game down there with the wu-tang controller why, yes, it is. Mind link controller? I can almost guess that didn't work out too great. It's got electrical tape on it, too. They had to salvage that. Uh, so much awesomeness. We got the power glove right here. The joy board. Uh, I remember that, too. Oh, I forgot about this on the Genesis, the activator. It was supposed to mimic whatever you did inside that hexagon. And um, it didn't do it very well. We tried to play Mortal Kombat with it. You'd be wore the fuck out. Half your shit wouldn't even be inputting. Oh, man. Wireless for the Super Nintendo, the Hyper Beam. Time Crisis Gun. Oh, man. Portable? Yeah, we can do portable. We can do portable. And when we're talking portable, we're talking about. Uh, trying to get my. These, LED, these lights in here are so difficult to work with. 
Oh yeah, we got some treats in here. All the old school handhelds dating back to the 70s. <laughs> Super duper old school. Ah, oh, Merlin, I remember that. Space Invaders, I don't know how that worked out. It was a gold Space Invader handheld arm. Little mini arcades. A couple of them you can play here. Yeah. Look at that. Very primitive, but you know what? It worked. Oh, shit, turn it off. And this is where it got good. People, Game Boys for life. I had the original silver brick. And they came out with the backlit ones. Oh, that was so much better. Game Boy camera and printer. I never saw this blinged out one. Barbie edition, okay. Okay. Uh, then all the in-betweens. Yeah, yeah, the OG, triple OG. Super Game Boy, that's where you could play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo, very cool. A couple of DS's. Some more oldies. Oh, the end cage. Yeah, that was supposed to be a badass video game cell phone by Nokia. Never did do well. I used to want the shit out of one, though. <laughs> Zodiac? I don't know what that is. I don't remember that one. Motherfucking Nomad. Oh, it was such a beast. Freaking Nomad. Played full-size Genesis cartridges on the go. Would eat through fucking batteries. Oh, would it eat through batteries. Man, this is awesome. A very, very awesome. I've never seen that. Micro system, little Donkey Kong, two, two player. Must be Japanese. Nice little corner over here. They got like a little closing, little store closing action. And that leads you to the crash and the rise of home computers. It's trying to take you through history how things went very well set up the television the OG triple OG damn that thing was huge and it keeps on going up we got one of these at home I think it's a I don't remember what it is Commodore 64 it's a Commodore yeah we got a Commodore at home oh, look at this Coleco Vision, Coleco Adam. Computer games were so shit back in the day. They've come a long way. I'm more impressed by these still working monitors. Radio Shack TV, video display. I'm sorry, video display. <laughs> Texas Instruments had their own little computer in 1979. All these controllers felt horrible. A little what better. That's what we have at home. Yeah, Commodore 64. At home right now. I wonder if they'd be interested in it. <laughs> but hey, y'all want this? Okay, people. That was pretty fucking awesome. I gotta say, I was very impressed by that place. That was super cool.